Welcome to RMAS Academy, myself as Rajesh, Faculty of Current Affairs and Sociology. In this video session, we are going to deal with weapon of mass destruction and microwave weapons. See, weapon of mass destruction, Adhiyamana makkala kill panna kudiya capacities irukka weapon adha, nama weapon of mass destruction, abhi nsa luo, what it? See, so any weapon that can kill and bring significant harm to human life and the human made constructions. So those weapons are called as weapon of mass destruction. There are three different, different types of weapon of mass destruction. And the moon, nuclear weapon, biological weapon and chemical weapons. Now, we over weapons or a brief description path and fourth new type of weapon of mass destruction that is radiological weapons. That is the output the microwave weapons. That is discuss Now, we will start with biological weapon. See, biological weapon are those which disseminate disease causing organisms like virus, bacteria or other pathogens in the name of destroying a particular country's population. This type of weapon directly targets the humans. There are examples like anthrax, smallpox and few other viruses and bacteria that actually kills many people. See anthrax it's a very serious infection caused by gram-positive bacteria. And chicken box, it is a virus. It is known that these type of diseases are deliberately created by disseminating those organisms or toxic that kills or very much harm to the humans. And this is biological weapon. And yes, we have Biological Weapon Convention of 1975. Biological Weapon Convention of 1975 says that no country should produce or design or stockpile any biological weapons because in the type of weapons or not then there is a chance these diseases may even spread to other parts of the world. Recent are the COVID-19 Aguda, one of the biological weapon but it is not true because a team from WHO clearly made it is a zoonotic disease, not a biological weapon. But still, there is always a threat from this biological weapon. Second weapon of mass destruction is chemical weapon. This weapon of mass destruction, that is chemical weapon, are even used today. Before five to six years, it was Syrian President Bashar al-Azad used a toxic gas, sarin gas, against the person who is fighting against the Syrian government for pro-democracy. The Syrian government is not a democratic government. So certain revolutionaries started to fight against the Syrian government for democracy. So Sonda people Malaye, the Syrian president used sarin gas. And another type of chemical weapon is Agent Orange. The Agent Orange was used by USA in Vietnam War. So we can understand biological weapons are from virus and bacteria. And here the chemical weapons are from chemicals which was specially designed to cause huge damage to humans. So known history, this particular weapon was used multiple times and the recent one happens to be sarin gas. That's the second weapon of mass destruction. Third one we are going to deal with nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapon are by far most dangerous weapon and this nuclear weapon 
was used against the humans only two times in the history it was in world war 2 usa rendu bomb japan la drop pannuvaanga to end the world war 2 adha thavira eppoyume the nuclear weapon payanpadathapaduvadillai but still there are more than 2000 nuclear test happens around the world india avum test pannirukanga 1998 pokhran 2 we finally got nuclear weapon pokhran 1 1975 that is not exactly a situation we acquired nuclear weapon it is a peaceful nuclear test but 1998 la we finally acquired a nuclear weapon got it so in the nuclear weapon works on the basis of certain you know minerals especially uranium plutonium there are two different types of weapon uh, nuclear weapons one fissile materials two fusion weapons the fusion weapons are called thermonuclear weapon because in fusion both fissile and fusion happens as we discussed about biological weapon we saw biological weapon convention was signed in 1975 to cut the protection of biological weapon on the same note there was a chemical weapon convention which was signed in 1993 and subsequently in 1997 organization for prohibition of chemical weapon was started that organization is responsible for prohibition of chemical weapons in the world india is a signatory of both chemical weapon convention and biological weapon convention thus india doesn't stock file or produce or design any chemical or biological weapons but we do have nuclear weapons from stockholm institute of peace peace and research they clearly said that india may have 130 to 140 plutonium based nuclear weapons which means india is not the part of any nuclear disarmament treaty we should understand the nuclear non proliferation treaty which was signed in 1967 is not as not with respect to india because india is not part of the particular treaty though we tested our nuclear weapon 1974 for the first time we are not the part of particular treaty but we do advocate universal disarmament of nuclear weapons but still we do have nuclear weapon because number one two enemy aliens that is pakistan and china ivanga rendu perume nuclear weapon stock file panni vechirukiradnala as a defensive mechanism to deter the nearby nation we do have this nuclear weapon and recently a new weapon of mass destruction which is called as radiological weapon these types of radiological weapon was conceived for years together but recent a microwave weapon is a part of this radiological warfare is a news but recent a india ku china ku hostile climate uruvaachu pangong lake ladakh region la appa there was a news released by certain media outlet that chinese military used microwave weapon to deter indian soldiers but indian government are cut and right a marudutaanga irundalum microwave weapon abindra or concept was there in news for quite some time hence it is important for us to study about those weapons because adu unga prelims liyo mains liyo reflect aagalam so what is this microwave weapon so microwave weapon are supposed to be a type of direct energy sources 
directly pointing the skin of a humans in the particular energy source human skin na touch pannum bodu human skin la iruka water heat pannum bodu then it will give a immense pain and please understand this type of microwave weapon never dest- never kill any humans but it will cause huge pain which itself is a major deterrence in warfare and recently it was said that this particular type of weapon is used in india china hostile regions so you can see within 2 seconds the skin's temperature can go to 130 fahrenheit which is impossible for a human to hold strong so in the mari weapons are used panni when we hit a person then it act as a huge deterrence but in the mari weapons unmeyalme world la iruka is that all in theoretical or it is in practical also yes there are certain nations which already proved that they have these types of weapon so according to a report the daily mail china had first put on display such a type of microwave weapon in 2014 in their defense show and moreover usa also have such a type of microwave style weapons but india in the mari weapons vachirukangala illaya abindra clear information namakku kedaiyadu but one thing we should understand that the weapon of mass destruction biological chemical and nuclear weapons already world oda peace threaten panitirukumbodu new type of weapon like this radiological weapon or this type of microwave warfare which comes under the radiological warfare is again a new threat to the peace of the world but still united nations are got to illa any other peace loving organizations indha mari weapon pathi inna pesa aarambikkala subsequent ah pesam bodu definitely we can expect a disarmament treaty with respect to this microwave weapon also so thank you for listening class have a good day